Nathan, congratulations. You've waited a long time for this moment. It's been a long 18 months. Did it live up to expectations? Did it, did it. <laughs> it was fantastic. Um, you know, we got asked, asked before, Andy, what do the walk on? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> you know, crowd surf me if you want. You know what I mean? It, 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 was, it was fantastic. You know, we, us as dark players, we, we live for for big tournaments like this, big crowds, big atmosphere. And, you know, what a night. Um, the crowd would bang on my side, chant out the England tunes. I was back at Wembley, <laughs> halfway through that game, I had, to, I had to kind of say to myself, Nathan, you're playing darts, you're not back in Wembley, calm down. Um, but it was fantastic, you know, they, they were fantastic. Fanta I can't keep saying it. They were brilliant, they've enjoyed their night, and, you know, they, they put a smile on my face for the first time in a long time playing darts, and I really enjoyed it, and I got the result. Speaking of the game, like you said, they had to reel yourself in. Great start, Merv come back. What was that moment of composure like? Were you just thinking, don't blow this here? Yeah, I, th I think I started off really well, and then again, I, th I think I you all know what I'm like. I, I love the, the party atmosphere and love interacting with the crowd, but because I've not had it for so long, I think I maybe interacted a little bit too much. But end of the day, I, I managed to pull myself away from that, compose myself, and I hit crucial shots at crucial times. I think I think the busting. I've done it twice, to be fair, and it's not my game plan, but I missed a double and I busted it coming back. And I think them two legs that I won when I did that were massive. Um, double 14 for me was a big shot because he hit a big score to put the pressure on. I think that put me 8-5, eight, 8-6 eight, up. Um, but I, I enjoyed the game. It, you know, it wasn't the best performance by any stretch of the imagination, but there's some good stuff in there and um, it's my first ever win in a match play. And, yeah, I'm very happy. It's been a torrid few months for yourself. Obviously, we know you had a bad back in the Premier League, then getting COVID. One, are you fit and healthy? And what's just been like this last six, seven weeks for you? It's been really tough. Um, away from home, um, you know, we, we away from that. So we, we, we've been renovating our house. I've been living at my dad's house for four months. So we finally moved back into our house three weeks ago. Obviously, I had the COVID. Me and my partner, Kirsty, we, we were really poorly with it for about five days. My mum suffered really bad for about three weeks. It, 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 was, it wasn't nice, um, obviously I wasn't performing well at darts, I had the Covid, I had the stress of the house. I've been, I, it's, been, it's been a tough time, it really has been a tough time for us, um, but my family, all, like they always say you spot on one, you spot on us all, we stick together and they've all supported me through this difficult time and uh, you know tonight was, was a big win and I think you've seen it on the stage at the end. Um, you know, not been playing very well, and that wasn't a great performance by any stretch. But I got the win, and you know we can celebrate tonight, and we can be happy with a big, big, big performance, a big win, and you know look forward to the rest of the tournament. Gary Anderson or Stephen Bunting up next? If it were to be Gary, and I do say if Premier League, you said you wouldn't make that mistake again. Yeah, I won't. Are you, are you? Would you like to put the Premier League right here at the match play? I don't think putting the Premier League right because I've got a good record against Gary. But I think what 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 I mean by that is. I give Gary a lot of respect because, well, for me, he's my idol. Um, but I've learned that no one gives a monkey's about you. Uh, and to be fair to the guy, Gary's told me, you play your game. You play your game. If you're screaming, you're hitting 180s, you get paid to hit 180s. If you take a big shot out under pressure, if you scream, I ain't bothered. Right? And, and th he said that to me after that game. Um, but no, I, I was going to go there, I'm going to play my normal game. I don't play my normal game normally against Gary, but to be fair, I normally beat him. So, uh, but no, I, I ain't going to look, look, look too much into that. I was going to go up there and, and try and be relaxed and just play my normal game. Nathan, congratulations as always, mate. Cheers, Phil. Nathan, you've obviously won the UK Open, you've gone close in the Premier League in the world previously. This has got to be a tournament that's, that's high on your agenda now. Yeah, definitely. Obviously, it's a very iconic tournament. Um, obviously, Winter Gardens, it's made probably my local tournament um, and obviously I've had a pretty poor poor couple of tournaments in it but uh, yeah to get to get a first win tonight was massive and I'd just love to do well obviously we've got the full crowd back now and you know what it's I just felt so much better tonight with the crowd back um, didn't feel the pressure just felt relaxed and I just felt Nathan's back Nate this is darts this is what darts are all about and enjoyed it tonight, and hopefully I can continue to, to do that. You said you didn't feel the pressure, did you feel the heat up there? I'm still feeling the heat now. <laughs> it, it, it's melting. It's so warm. 
Um, and again, like I say, it's all, all the learning curve for me. I've only played here once and Mer beat me last time. Uh, rest assured, I'll probably bring about 19 shirts with me uh, on Wednesday night. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Um, again, you know, without, without, without boring everyone who's watching, it's it's kind of I've had a lot of stuff going on. And, uh, it's been hard for us all. Um, and if we're going to be dead lemons here, yeah, of course I wanted to come. I wanted to play well, but darts was at the back of my mind this week. I've had a lot of stuff going on, stuff that I can't even say on camera. Um, but that win meant a lot for me. It meant a hell of a lot for Kirsty back at home who's watching me. It's just, just, just a big win. I bloody hope. I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. The louder the better for me. The louder the better for me.